la Gang, what's up, Taurus? What's up, booze, baby? Stop. Spot on the life of a Taurus for the month of March 2019. Are we being forced off the cliff and having to embrace the changes as they come and just learn how to adapt? Because chances are, the things that we're having to adapt is what Spirit has been trying to push us off the cliff for. For a lot of you, have been trying to get us ready for a long, long time. It's about time. It is judgment time. Who ready? You ready? I'm ready. We ready. You understand? So this will be for my summer rising Venus as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Taurus. Hey, well, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. Make cuss a little, make cuss a lot, just depending on what these hell these cards say. But I'm a cuss, all right? So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find yet another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can better assist you without cussing, because the way I'm set up me, I'm going to do that, all right? So, again, this will be for my summer rising Venus, as well as the cross watchers. This is a general. It's not a personal. If you need a personal, that information can be found below within the description, all right? I mean, this will be for the entire month of March 2019. There was no mid-months uh, during this time. I did take time for myself to kind of rest and rejuvenate. But look, I made it. You understand? Better late than never. So let's rock out, all right? Um, to all of my new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We a little dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. Oh, but we cuss, all right? We grow. We love. We evolve. We enlighten. We share, y'all. We one big happy family. We don't do that drama shit over here, all right? Posy vibes only. To my returning subscribers, family, uh, I know y'all was waiting on me, but it's some of our mocha. This girl always pops in right when we need the message. And so with this... um. Blood in it with this blood moon that just occurred uh, with the last series of the blood moon and the spring equinox full moon in Libra. There's a balancing act occurring, so um, let's get to it. All right, without further ado. All right, so we're going to start off with the intuitive messages that I did get for the sign of Taurus while meditating on your energy for the month of March. Um, you guys, don't try to make the damn shoe fit if it's too big. Yes, yeah, can't fit it. It's not for you. Take what applies, leave the rest. All right. So intuitively, for the month of March, what I got for Taurus, I have legal, I got catalyst, blessings, forgiveness, compromise, releasing, fortune, childhood wounds, trust, morale, ego death, projection, that makes sense to what I see here in front of me, I'm sorry, communication, New love. Make a choice. Shadow self. Boundaries. Travel. Karmic. Protection. Communication. New love. Aries. Truth. Detox. Protection. I think I said that already. Virgo. Pisces. Leo. Sagittarius. Gemini. Bondage. Scorpio, vindictive, Taurus, let's damn talk about it, okay? Um, <clears throat> I do feel the energy of, um, even <clears throat> as I was laying the spirit message, I do feel the energy of resistance. There's resistance and it has to do with the ego death. I feel like those of you who are in love, long-term love, I'm hearing the number six and the number eight, I definitely feel like what's missing um what's missing with the harmony in your relationship there is definitely some childhood wounds that's needing to be dealt with and I feel like this has to do with some prominent mother figure as well as the validation from that mother figure which is why you feel um, kind of stagnant or stuck in this cycle or possibly having to relive the same thing in your life over and over again even with different faces attached to it uh, for some of you all I'm also um, for those of you who have water sign children you may come to the realization that your children are dreamers they have prophetic dreams if they're telling you to get waters or be have some type of like level of preparedness, please listen to your children. Turn to your children. For some of you all, spirit is using your children and channeling your children to give you messages. But your ass is so caught up in burden, worrisome world of things within this world that is not real that you're, it's just going right over your damn head. Tend to your children during this time and really listen to them. Listen to them. The, the simplest things, there are messages in the simplest things that your children are saying. Also, some I'm I, I'm seeing um, there's spirit is saying this is for four of you all actually. Um, 
there you have a teenage son. This son is a fire sign. You have a new mate. This mate is a Libra, uh, Gemini, Aquarius. The fire sign does not get along with the new mate. This could be tied to some type of like knowing maybe the child father and the new mate know each other some kind of way they could work together or something like that so the child is acting very rebellious this child ultimately the child actually likes your mate but the child is actually projecting their father's feelings i feel like this child could have recently reconciled with their father something about the number three within the last three weeks three years and that is the actual um the root of your issue, you're really needing to talk to your child's father um, about polluting your child mind and really causing an uproar within the house because I definitely feel like there is a weaving and a pulling of the strings. Some of you all also, um, I'm sorry y'all, it's coming fast. Some of you all may be, um, some of you guys may be engaged or may be like tied to someone. And during this Mercury retrograde, you've had time to sort your feelings and you may be coming to the conclusion that you're not really ready for um, that form of commitment that the other person wants. Um, but you just don't know how to tell this person. So I do feel that there's some type of catalytic situation. There could be an intervening of a twin flame on either you or this person's end during this time to come in and shake shit up to make you make a decision. OK. All right. So let's get into it. Your angel message comes from. The Doreen uh, Angel Oracle deck. Okay, and what you guys got was watermelon tourmaline. Stress reduction. De-stress your mind, body, and schedule as you need to rest, recharge, and revive self-care. Okay? Stop putting other people first and pleasing other people and actually start focusing on the things that you feel. What is your truth, Taurus? It's time to sort that shit out. And in the meanwhile, take that time for re um, for re for, for re the revitalization y'all y'all i'll be fucking up this mercury shit is fucking with me but i'm it will not conquer me okay but i do feel that uh there's a need for self-care and a lot of you all are really needing to nurture your inner child during this time some of you all have a very massive crown chakra activation some of you all may be seeing auras within um within like dealing with people like and, and I feel like this could be actually, this could have actually started occurring the second week, of, I'm hearing two, the second week of March. But as we move into April, as we end March and move into April, some of you all are um, actually, some of you guys have the gift of um, reading people's auras, okay? Okay, so the overall energy around the reading, I do have the six of hearts so i do feel that towards we are dealing with past life energies for some of you all it's actually releasing um getting out of your comfort zone and stop and and, and preventing pretty much stop get get out of your own damn way don't prevent yourself from moving forward due to comfort y'all please don't mind my puppy ass he in there having his little moment okay every season he kicked off he is really turned up turned up all right so let's get it <clears throat> right some of you all um, a lot of you all may be experiencing some type of fortune. Some of you all may be having um, some, <laughs> some of you guys, there's a need for you to play chess, not checkers. Some of you guys really need to keep some of the information that you or some of your moves really, really, really close to your chest. Because for some of you all, you have people who are uh, very multifaceted, I'd say. And that's the positive version besides saying they some fake motherfuckers. Um, in your energy that is uh, that could be actually pulling from your idea or uh, trying to like take take it, uh, bits and pieces okay so when people are reconciling with you during this time the spirit is wanting you to keep some things a lot of things to yourself especially when it comes to your business moves some of you guys really need to go to, to, to the damn casino during this time I definitely feel like there is this spirit of abundance okay upon you Taurus okay but there is for some of you all you really need to take a chance okay I know that they say um, don't sign fucking contracts and things of that nature, but contracts and things, co contracts, collaborations, new business endeavors is looking damn good and very abundant for you. It just depends on how you're playing your cards when you're making these moves. For some of you all, there's a need for you not to be too impulsive during this time and to be extremely strategic, especially with how you do things. If you're being pushed off of a cliff and having to leave a job, this is a blessing in disguise because spirit is literally setting you up for abundance and it's infinite. It's a part of your life path to be wealthy and have that fortune and that stability okay but for some of you all it's going to require for you it's going to require you to actually um get out of your comfort zone and actually move um move past your own illusions and be vulnerable okay for some of you all it's being it's 
For some of you all, you're going to find your abundance in your vulnerability. Because for some of you all, you are healed as your spiritual teacher. Spirit says spiritual teacher. So some of you guys are spiritual teachers, but you do that through experience, through your wisdom and knowledge, and actually the information that you're kind of being pulled to. Um, and, and that's for you in the future to share with others. A lot of you guys may be um, actually... Um, looking for a way to expand. Some of you guys may be actually talking to your partner, your loved ones about expanding your family during this time, but it is a very abundant time to move on any type of um, ideas or any type of creative gestures that you've been kind of just holding on to and just sitting on. Spirit is saying, you know, no more why I allow you to sit here. Now it's time for you to actually project that momentum and do not let other people project their fears on you during this time. I feel like some of you guys are sharing your ideas with family members and friends, and some of y'all may have people like, that's what's up. Pay attention to them, that's what's up, motherfuckers, because it is not hard to say fucking congratulations. It takes that much. It takes the same amount of energy that you use to say that's what's up. But that's what's up is a slight insecurity within other people. And it's more so like what you guys don't understand. You so focus on who's hating and who's doing this and who's doing that and the projection of other people. But you got to understand their hate is only feeding your manifestations. A lot of y'all don't even realize that a lot of people around you that you feel like <clears throat> during this time has an issue with your expansion. It's kind of like an illusion of self-sabotage that you've kind of put on yourself. Yeah, these people may have an issue. But think about it. If they didn't believe in you more than some of y'all are actually believing yourself, sitting on your, believing in yourself by sitting on your damn great ideas, why would they put that energy into hating you? You have to learn how to work with the energy and be thankful that these people, that, that, that the truth is coming out during this time and these people are expressing themselves. Some of y'all may have an, um, some of you guys may um, actually be finding out during this time that someone actually manipulated their way of pulling you out of some type of wheel. Um, you're really needing to forgive the past. I do feel that there was something around inheritance. Some of you guys may be finding out because I definitely feel that someone's karma is coming back on their asses. But Taurus, it's not for you to look at the situation from a place of judgment, but from a place of experience. What did you learn? What are you grateful for? Did that motherfucking deceitful act stop, to stop the motherfucking bull show? If the answer is no, two tears in a bucket. Fuck it. And fuck what they doing. But now you know how to treat them going forward. What to make you laugh or make you cry. The same person that you kicked while they was down when my face was in the goddamn mud will be the same damn person pulling your ass out the damn mud. But that don't mean I got to fuck with you like that. It just means I forgive you and I learned my lesson. And I know how to move accordingly going forward. You did. All right. So some of you all, Taurus, there's a need. Yeah, there's a need for you to break free of there. There's a during this time, there's some type of restructuring, reprogramming of the subconscious mind happening. For some of you all, you may have some type of expansion around your third eye, your pineal gland. You really you may feel some type of pressure to some of you guys. There's something about the head. You may be having migraines during this time. Spirit is really needing you guys to really detox, okay? For some of you all, you may be overindulging, okay, to to to, to kind of like sit in that comfort of not making a damn decision on which way you want to move next because for some of you all, you literally, the spirit is literally finna pull the damn mat from up under y'all asses. I can tell you the nice way, but I mean, I'm seeing what I'm seeing. And ultimately, it's for you to face that fear of the unknown. For some of you all, you have a fear of failure. So the reason why you're not moving forward on leaving those relationships or leaving those toxic environments or leaving situationships that does not offer your, offer your life any more growth is simply because your own comfort, but that comfort around that fear of failure or that fear of the unknown, of you not being able to control situations. You will not see true growth and true True abundance, and you won't see things truly move the way that you would like them to. For one, you continuously can you continuously manifest those things. However, instead of looking at the glass as half empty, look at the glass as half full. Some of you guys, you, you're really needing to re reprogram your subconscious as far as how you look at things. Stop looking at things from a place of defeat before you even give your chance, give yourself a chance to run the race. Some of you guys are telling yourself, well, now, nah, maybe I can't do that because I ain't never went to college for that shit. Man, there's too many fucking trades out here. It's too much. Technology is too expanded. We've reached too, we, we've reached the age of Aquarius. So be very honest with you. United States ain't on their damn internet since, what, what was that, August 4th, 2016 or 17, quote me if I'm wrong. But that, with that said, all of the limitations that we once had as far as the accessing of information, 
are no longer limited. If you are in the unknowing, it's because you have not put in all of your efforts to go and, and, and truly research. And this could be someone in your energy continuously planning, 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 yet things are. It's like moving in a damn car with motherfucking spinners on that motherfucker, but the, the car don't, the, the car's not moving. It broke down. But the spinner's still spinning on that motherfucker. There needs to be momentum. And for some of you all, um, things that are occurring as far as forced changes in divine timing is kind of forcing you towards that momentum that you're actually going to see is going to bring you great abundance in the end. Some of you guys have, some of you guys, there's a lot of past life karma around this reading because I definitely feel like for some of you all, there is some level of expansion. There is a lot of threes and fours in your reading. For some of you all, you really need to see things from a different perspective. Okay, for some of you all, some of y'all may also be having issues with the way that you're seeing a certain particular subject, or this could be some type of subject matter. I'm, I'm hearing children, so this could be around your children and how um, you're raising your children. Some of you guys could actually be arguing with the mother figure who feels as if you should be moving a certain way during this time, but I definitely feel like their, their, their views of stability and your views of stability is a bit different. For some of you all, you really want to travel and your mother or your father figure, I feel like this is a strong mother, grandmother, auntie figure. But this is During this time, a lot there may be a lot of chaos around motherly figures. If you have a teenage daughter and you are a mother, there, there could be a bit of bumping the heads with your daughter and it has to do with perspective, the way that you see things. It's not meaning that neither one, it's not taking away from either one of your points of views, but it's actually that compromise happening in between to understand the other versus just hear them perspective shifts okay i definitely feel like some of you guys during this time may be seeing white birds y'all you guys are very lucky when it comes to uh raffle tickets uh when it comes to uh any type of um like lottery tickets no don't be going to go spend all your damn money like mocha told me to go get them no the fuck i didn't say that i said that lady luck is in your energy and so because of that this is a great time to try to, to actually take a gamble, but take a gamble towards investing in yourself, in your higher self, your dreams and where you see yourself five years from now. It's a time of restructuring, revaluing, you know, reevaluating. What what do you believe in? You know, we've made these shifts spiritually, but for some of us, we, we, we've been so focused on love matters and things of that nature that we really haven't stopped. To ask ourselves, what is it that we believe in? How do, how is it that our beliefs have shifted from where we was to where we're trying to go? What has truly, what, how have we truly awakened? Where have you been? Because once you reflect on where you've been, you're going to laugh at yourself. That's that aha moment. That's that epiphany moment that I do see happening. For some of you all, the fourth week of March, as we go into this last week of March, going into April, you're going to have an aha moment, and you're going to see that the answer was right in front of your face the entire time. When you overthink it, we tend to fuck shit up. A lot of you guys really need to stop judging yourself and stop criticizing your own work because that is, that's the energy that you're putting around what it is that you're trying to manifest. And so this is why you're in this place of paranoia, anxiety, and not really kind of know which way is left, which way is right. This person acting funny. No one's acting funny. That's how you perceive in that situation. Or that's how you're perceiving, you know, that particular concept. Because of how you're viewing yourself or the judgment that you're placing on yourself. That other people are not even looking at you like that with. So there's a shifting in perspective. There's a need to... um Actually face that, again, face that fear of the unknown. Face that fear of, actually, some of you guys are afraid of being too successful. And I know that Taurus likes likes um, to be financially stable, but I feel like this is more of an energy of people feeling as if, like, you know, I already have this little crab in the bucket type of fake of people in my world right now. Lord forbid I have a lot of fucking money. Then I'm going to have to move out the damn country. Some of you guys are considering travel. You are during this time actually considering just uprooting, grabbing your damn family and moving to, a tire, to an entire another place because you just really want this fresh start. And I feel like for some of you all in the past life, your karma and your, your hurdle, your obstacles had to do with resistance and letting go. And so during this time, you guys are kind of being faced with the same 
obstacles, you know, to actually get it right in this life. It's part of your soul contract. Okay. So let's get it. <clears throat> Dear, what messages do you have for my beautiful bulls in love for the month of March? What is occurring in their love lives? Yeah. Some of you guys, again, finding that balance in your relationships, finding balance for some of you all between your love life and work. Okay, you're really needing to make a decision on what, what, what where your values truly lie. For some of you all, some of you guys really need to make a decision on choosing when it comes to when it comes to dealing with your finances. Some of you guys are kind of giving someone an ultimatum. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody who have an, an issue with overindulgence. This person could drink too much. Um, for some of you all, and I feel like you're giving this person an ultimatum. This person could be a water sign or an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel like you're giving this person an ultimatum. Either you're going to stop your overindulgence or I'm going to have to move on because it's really affecting our stability. I feel like we're constantly taking ills because of your habits and I don't see growth here. So I'm going to have to move forward. And for some of you all, it's a blessing in disguise for doing so. Okay. I definitely feel like some of you guys are having to make a decision possibly between a water sign um, and an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like with the water sign, you you see balance with this person. However, you don't see stability with this person. For some of you all, you really need to make a decision on if you want to move forward in love, okay, or if you want to hold on to your independence, hold on to your, hold on to, um, Hold on to your singlehood, okay? For some of you all, you're dealing with the Capricorn towards Virgo, and this person could be very manipulative. This could be you manipulating the situation possibly uh, with finances or holding on to someone um, due to the fact that this person, some of y'all could also have a codependent relationship with somebody who could have, um, yeah, who could have strong earth in their chart, Capricorn towards Virgo. Either you are doing this or this other person is doing this, but some of you guys or holding on to someone and uh, wanting to prevent, or someone's doing this to you towards wanting to prevent you from being single. I definitely feel like some of you guys may be in your head about reconciling with someone from your past, okay? This could be, or, mm, yeah, but some of you guys, you're in your head about reconciling with someone from your past who could be a water sign, who you actually see great abundance with, okay? And for some of you all, you're returning to something that you actually love to do, like some type of creative hobby. I am hearing um, music for some of you all. I'm also hearing painting for some of you all. I heard uh, building for some of you all. Um, and I also heard welding for some of you all as well. I'm also hearing that someone makes some type of... Um, I don't know, is it frequency music? Someone wants to make medita meditation music of some sort, but Spirit is saying that idea is going to be abundant. Maybe you could have tried this in the past and maybe it did not work for you because the timing wasn't right, but it's all about divine time and hearing your spread that I'm seeing. Just show me what it is that Taurus is needing to know what is going on in Taurus's love life. Yeah, for some of you all, it's about renewing a relationship, okay? Starting over from scratch to build your way to that stability, okay? And for some of you all, this is after someone could have moved away. For some of you all, you're moving away from possibly a fire sign from your past, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or maybe you want to move towards this person and offer something stable, move forward with this person. I definitely feel like there is a lot of passion there with this individual. I mean, a whole lot of passion. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Leo. Some of you guys are dealing with the Sagittarius. And some of you guys have a Sagittarius person coming forward to actually make an offer towards you. I feel like this person couldn't get right in the past, okay? For some of you all, hmm. That's a damn power couple in here. For some of you all, you could actually be burdened by a situation possibly uh, surrounding a um, someone who's pregnant or someone who, um, this could be the mother or father of your child. And I feel like for some of you all, you're really trying to hold on to a relationship. But there could be some type of information coming out that is going to um, actually cause someone to be single, okay? And I definitely feel like this is, you manifested this, to be very honest with you, because for some of you all, you've kind of been obsessing about it. I feel like this is something that you really haven't been communicating with anybody about because you didn't want your secret to get out or for someone to be gossiping or for that matter, for your spouse to find out for some of you all. Why is this interest here? Some of you guys, the emperor and the empress is here. So some of you guys could definitely be dealing with the Aries. I do have the sign of Leo as well as Sagittarius here with this temperance card. Some of you guys could also be dealing with the Pisces. Yeah, but I do see love. Love. For some of you all, 
for some of you all, you're actually coming to the realization that you're in love with this Aries, this Pisces. Um, you want to offer something solid to this person, this Libra, this Taurus, okay? This could also be you, Taurus, all right? If you um, are actually someone... Um, you don't even have necessarily have to be have children to be the empress. You could also be in this energy of birthing, this energy of creation on your bossy type shit. Why is the emperor here? Two fail. I'm gonna take them both. Yeah. For some of you all, there's truth and clarity possibly coming to or from an Aries, okay, that it's going to move things forward, all right? And this could have been something that you have been, or you are the other person who could have been holding on to, okay? Or someone could have been trying to control the situation from um, actually splitting, but there is a moving forward for some of you all. Uh, and this could also have to do with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. Why is the temperance card here? Why is this temperance card here? Yeah, for some of you all, some of y'all are moving away from a Sagittarius. You're cutting this person off. Yeah, there is a lot of passion here, but someone definitely has commitment issues. Someone is out here in a whole damn relationship. This could be the mother, father, your child acting as if they whole single out here. Big hoeing, okay? Yeah, and you could have actually be getting, you could be getting truth and clarity about a third party situation that could involve um, an Aries person. This could also involve a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Why is the Ten of Wands here for Taurus? Why is the Ten of Wands here? Yeah, for some of you all, for some of you all, you are releasing a situation around a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like you or this other person wanted to manifest this before, but I feel like for some, for some of you all, there is a lack of balance here. There's a lack of being able to balance one's emotions, okay, as well as one's truth for some other, for some of, uh, some of you other tours. Why is the King of Wands here? Why is the King of Wands here? Who is this King of Wands? Why is the King of Wands here? Yeah, for some of you all, again, this could be involved in a third party situation. This could have to do with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or fire sign. But I definitely feel like for some of you all, this is information about a one night stand or possibly someone um, definitely getting pregnant after some type of third party relationship. And this could have to do with someone traveling for work as well. Why is why is this four of pentacles here? Why is the four of pentacles here? Yeah. For some of you all, someone wants to start over, fix the relationship, renew it, start over. There's someone wants a rebirth to happen. Someone wants to uh, renew the relationship after they're being truth and clarity, move forward and actually build something stable. They've learned their lesson. Um, kind of Mother Karma came in and shook shit up. And for some of you all, this is a setup for the new, but you can't experience that new until after you leave someone out in the fall. OK. And for some of you all, this could be um, a fear about a, a fear around not being financially stable uh, if you are to leave someone out in the cold. But spirit is saying to clarify this sun card, I got the wild card. So I definitely feel like <laughs> believe in miracles, baby. But resisting change, trying to control aspects of the relationship to hold on to someone in, in, in need of that validation or when it becomes to the point where it's codependent. Spirit is saying no more. That cycle has to end the shift, okay? So for some of you all, there will be um, some type of clarity share, possibly regarding deception. For some of you all, this person is actually opening up and being vulnerable with their feelings, but in being vulnerable with, the, vulnerable with their feelings, this person is letting you know, hey, I don't think that, you know, I'm ready for the full commitment that you expect out of me with this whole relationship shit. I want to be free. I haven't really healed some of my wounds and I have trust issues. And you're having an open conversation with this person to know that if, if you're going to either put in the work or go solo or pull back and focus on yourself. And learn from the situation and reflect on your past, okay? Reflect on your past and some of the work that needs to be done. So this is what I see for the sign of Taurus for the month of March. Please hit me up if you need that personal reading, y'all. This was very, very, very deep for me. Um, I definitely feel like Taurus, you guys, there's huge decisions that are needing to be made. You know, for some of you all, um, I do see, um, and I, I didn't want to go there, but Spirit says, go ahead and say it. For some of you all, you're questioning um, your sexuality during this time. Some of you guys could actually find out that, some of y'all could be finding out that, well, y'all was looking for a woman or someone of the opposite sex that your spouse was cheating on. They were actually cheating on you with the same sex, okay? So this is, that shit got real. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with the sign of Virgo, but I definitely feel like things are going to be moving forward for you. There's this momentum, whether you like it or not, and everybody just can't go 
okay? So you guys, let me know how this resonates. Thank you in advance for all of my likes, my shares, my comments, my subscribes. I truly appreciate it. Much love, much light, many blessings, and namaste, my babies. I'll see y'all in a little bit for the month of April. Bye, y'all.